When you switch on your Ultraspec 7500, you'll fall into a splash screen, which does give you information about calibration each time you switch it on. You'll then get to the home screen, which is an icon based like an iPhone, with the icons to show you different applications. It'll then guide you through the application from naming your sample. That's a standard keyboard that you can give as many names as you want to. I'm naming it after myself. It will also then follow through and pick up sample numbers to that initial name, so following numbering on. It will then give you options for how you want to save your results and then take you through to loading your samples, the cell changer. I'm going to load in two samples and one reference here. When you open the lid, you will notice that there is one blue cell. That blue cell is the reference cell and it's the number one um, sample if you're not using it as a reference. So that's always your starting point. I'm using quartz cuvettes here, but you can actually use any cuvettes that are appropriate for the sample type you're using. When you press that sample read button down in the bottom right hand corner, it will very quickly go through and read your samples. And you can then toggle between the results by clicking on that sample uh, box at the top. You can save your results, again, very important to have multiple options to save these things, or you can even go back and save your method if you decide it's something you want to use again and again. My favourite thing here is actually that little camera icon up in the top corner, and that allows you to take a screen grab of any results screen that you have within the instrument. Of course you can see now, because we had three samples measured, that blue cell has moved along the side. You can take your samples out and you're ready to go.